Fasten your seatbelts, Formula One fans, because a new movie is about to hit the screens, and it promises to be the ultimate thrill ride. The Netflix series Drive to Survive has already captivated millions of viewers with its behind-the-scenes look at the high-speed world of F1. But now, a new contender is stepping up to the starting line. Lewis Hamilton says this movie will be the best ever Formula One movie. However, as the excitement builds, there is also controversy brewing, with F1 president Stefano Domenicali reportedly expressing concerns about the film. So, what is behind the hype and what are Stefano Domenicali's concerns? Stay tuned to find out. Hollywood megastar Brad Pitt and Formula One legend Lewis Hamilton are joining forces to create an epic racing movie. With such big names attached to the project, the pressure to create a blockbuster hit is on, but Hamilton is confident that they will deliver. He said, I have such high hopes for it. I know we're going to make the best racing movie that's ever existed. The movie follows the story of a retired F1 driver, played by Pitt, who comes out of retirement to mentor and team up with a younger driver. It will be produced by Hamilton's new production company, Dawn Apollo Films and Apple's studio arm will be responsible for bringing it to the screen. In addition to the movie, Apple TV is also making a documentary about Hamilton, which is sure to be a hit with fans of the racing legend. The man behind the camera will be Joseph Kaczynski, the director of the recent blockbuster Top Gun Maverick, which has been nominated for an Academy Award for Best Picture. The film will be produced by Jerry Bruckheimer, who has a proven track record of success with racing movies, having produced both Top Gun movies and the popular NASCAR hit Days of Thunder. To create the movie's stunning visuals, the team will use some of the same technology that was employed in the making of Top Gun Maverick. According to Gunther Steiner, the team principal at Haas, he was impressed by the technology shown to him, stating that the team making this movie is the best out there at the moment to do something like this. The screenplay will be written by Aaron Kruger, who also wrote Top Gun Maverick. Apple CEO Tim Cook seems to be taking a keen interest in the movie's development. Having been spotted at the US Grand Prix in Austin, where he met with the two stars and waved the checkered flag to end the race. In the world of Formula One, there is a constant push to attract new fans to the sport. According to Liberty Media CEO Greg Maffei, relying on Netflix's Drive to Survive documentary series as the sole promotional vehicle is not enough. Maffei believes that in order to keep things fresh and interesting, Formula One needs to change the game. This includes embarking on exciting new ventures such as the upcoming F1 movie that is set to feature none other than Hollywood superstar Brad Pitt and seven-time F1 world champion Lewis Hamilton. In Maffei's words, this movie is going to be a whole other level and is set to showcase the technology and expertise of the team behind it. They are utilizing the same cutting edge technology used in the making of Top Gun Maverick to skin these cars and create an unforgettable viewing experience. Filming is set to begin at the iconic Silverstone track in the coming weeks. And while the title of the movie has yet to be revealed, fans can rest assured that it will be a thrilling and captivating addition to the world of motorsports. Stefano Domenicali, the CEO of Formula One, is also excited about the upcoming F1 movie. He believes that this movie will be another way to showcase the sport and attract new fans. However, during a meeting with F1 investors, Domenicali acknowledged that the production of the movie could be quite invasive and would need to be controlled. Domenicali said, When we started the collaboration with Netflix, the F1 community said, What's going on? This is not our place to be. And now we understand the power of it. And then we add a very strong presence with social media, making sure that all our drivers and teams are very active in promoting the sport. And that's another tool with the movie. It will be quite invasive in terms of production. It's something that we need to control in a way, but it will be another way of showing that F1 never stops. Although the release date of the movie is still unknown, it's been reported that the deal to get the rights was one of the most expensive for Apple Studios. This suggests that the company is willing to go big on it when it finally does reach the big and small screen. Fans of the sport can look forward to a thrilling movie that will not only showcase the excitement of racing, but also highlight the personalities behind the drivers. 
Apart from the upcoming F1 movie and the popular Drive to Survive series, there have been some Formula One movies or documentaries produced in the past. Let's take a look at some of them. One such story is that of Eddie Jordan's privateer team during the 1998 Formula One season. The documentary Driving Ambition takes us on a journey from launch day to the team's first ever F1 victory at the Belgian Grand Prix. This fly on the wall documentary is a fascinating insight into the highs and lows of an F1 team season. Another documentary that delves into the mind of an F1 legend is Racing Is In My Blood. This documentary was released after Ayrton Senna won his third world championship in 1991. It provides a closer look at the Brazilian's complex mind than any other before the release of the 2010 Universal Studios hit Senna. Even if you've seen the latter, Racing It's In My Blood is definitely worth a watch. For those who want to learn about the dangers of F1 during the 1960s and 70s, Grand Prix The Killer Years is the perfect documentary. The BBC production features shocking footage of accidents and interviews with drivers of the time, including Sir Jackie Stewart, Emerson Fittipaldi and John Surtees OBE. The documentary is not for the faint-hearted, but it is an utterly gripping and compelling insight into a bygone era of the sport. Moving on to the Playboy era of F1, Barry Sheen and James Hunt, when Playboys ruled the world, gives us a glimpse into the lives of the 1976 world champions in Formula One and motorcycling. ITV's documentary provides a fascinating insight into the life of these two legends, from Hunt taking cocaine in front of Max Mosley, to the pair inviting dozens of air hostesses back to their hotel room in Japan. It's hard to imagine modern F1 drivers like Sebastian Vettel and George Lorenzo doing the same today. The Flying Scott is another documentary that offers an intimate look into the life of three-time world champion Jackie Stewart. Produced by his son Mark and released by the BBC, the film goes beyond the track and features family photographs, home movies and interviews with friends like Sean Connery and Emerson Fittipaldi. It's a touching tribute to one of F1's greatest drivers. Next up is Hunt v Lauda, F1's greatest racing rivalries, which captures the thrilling battle for the 1976 Formula One World Championship. With never-before-seen footage and exclusive interviews with key players, the documentary is a gripping account of one of the most exciting seasons in F1 history. Another F1 documentary is Weekend of a Champion, produced and directed by Roman Polanski, which provides a fascinating glimpse into the mind of Jackie Stewart during the 1972 Monaco Grand Prix weekend. With up-close and personal access to the two-time world champion, the documentary perfectly captures the glamour and excitement of the most prestigious event on the F1 calendar. Another F1 movie that deserves a spot on this list is Senna, a masterpiece of documentary filmmaking directed by Asif Kapadia. The film chronicles the life and career of the legendary Ayrton Senna, from his early days in karting to his great rivalry with Elaine Prost at McLaren and his tragic death at the 1994 San Marino Grand Prix. With BAFTAs and Sundance Awards to its name, Senna is a powerful tribute to a true icon of the sport. In conclusion, these F1 movies and documentaries offer unique perspectives on the sport and its greatest drivers, from Jackie Stewart to Ed and Senna. Whether you're a diehard fan or a casual viewer, these films are sure to leave you with a greater appreciation for the drama, excitement and danger of Formula One. What's your thought about this upcoming F1 movie? Let us know what you think in the comment section below. That will be all for today's video. Thanks for staying tuned. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification bell so that you can always get to watch more videos like this. See you in the next video.